sometimes the birds will just slide on you. That's just the nature of hunting. They either saw something, the wind kicked a little bit, who knows why, but they just seem to slide. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. You know what to do. <laughs> More on the left, guys, right here. Let them get in tight, boys. Be patient. Let them come. Go, that's perfect. What I like to do is if I put a point in the decoys or somewhere out there in the hole, I'll put three or four decoys at 35 yards. And I know once they're inside of that, even if they slide and flare, that gives my hunters enough time to mount the guns and get some shots off and usually put a few birds down. Go, that's perfect. And you got to be ready and you got to be ready to either call the shot and let everyone go or hold off and just let them slide. In these situations, you have to be decisive. Right here guys, fresh flight. Let's just be real careful here. Let them come, let them come, let them come. Go, 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 go. If you can let them come, let them. If you can't, roll them. Were they okay for you there? Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, hang on, let them swing, let them swing. Okay, they're swinging, guys. They're gonna center up this time. Get ready. Here they come, left side. I should have called that. That was my bad, guys. Here, they're coming back really low this time. You see them? Another quick note on on reading the birds. So there are times when those birds are coming over and you think they're gonna finish, they don't climb, but they're about 35 or 40 yards tall. On most days, you'd scratch those birds or you can even shoot them a lot higher up. But on a day when they're doing it so well, it's often worth the gamble. So in the situation that I had happen, they come over and they're just wings are set and they sail over you. They're not afraid, they haven't panicked, they haven't climbed up, they're taking a good look. That's either the go or no go time. Sometimes I decide to no go and hold off, let them do a spin. They'll go two or 300 yards downwind and then all of a sudden they'll line up perfectly centered and they'll come straight up the middle. They'll drag it all the way in and they'll usually finish in the hole for you. Definitely worth the gamble and definitely worth the excitement. Yeah, leave these two. They're coming right up the pocket this time. That was a good gamble. Be patient, wait, wait, let them come, let them come. Go boys, that's good. Go, go. Let's go, Claudio. That could have been nice. There goes another one. Yeah. When they weren't left in and their wings were set, I thought, ah. I mean, I could have shot, but that wasn't very good for you. Doesn't get much better than that. Then again, we've said that about a thousand times tonight. <laughs> Drill them, boys. Drill them. Drill them. Drill them. Drill them. That was a good one. Do we have a count yet? They were 120. Whoa. Yeah. And still looking. Yeah. A bargain at twice the price. Ha ha ha. All right, J-Mo. Good hey. job, man. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you spotted this one. I know... Uh, I know you and Brad taking turns. There's a one on, one off, one on, yeah, one off. Absolutely. A little different. Teamwork, program. teamwork. When you see these hunts, you got to grab them, especially when they're big. And the result was like tonight. So you know, Jay had a little little surprise with this hunt this morning. They're feeding across the tree line, and they've been in there about 80 acres. And there's a bunch of them. And then they jumped up early in the morning, and Jay kind of went, uh oh. Yeah. And they panic, jumped in. Panic, panic, panic. And then. Uh, you know, we, we kept our cool and we just adjusted and they, they finished here and Jay yep. made the call to hunt here and a great call it was. I mean, they came in on a roll. It was fun. It was Good fun. job, man. Right on. Good job, Colin. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're very welcome. That was epic, dude. Unbelievable. That was, good, eh? that was fun. That was good. So, you know, we're wrapping it up now. This is May 4th, I believe. Yeah. 
May 4th and you know it's hot. It's time for it to be over. I mean, there's still some birds around, but uh, we just come off for probably of our best days and we thought they were gonna be four of our worst days. And uh, it just shows, you know, if you want the, the epic hunts, you gotta push that envelope when those droobies roll through and they got here, you know, they got here just in time. And it was good, you guys did some great shooting. I see your Benelli Super Black Eagle. Oh yeah, man, that's those a two. Best one ever. Die bomb, attaboy. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. that's good, good stuff. So yeah, it went really well. Jay did a great job and yeah. you know, Brad this year as well. I mean, we hunted with him last night and then we just do a teamwork thing and I was blessed this four days to get to hunt every day, which was nice, you know, and they, they carried carried the weight and good job, Jay. Thanks a lot. And you bet, Jay. That's Thanks, it. Snow's, Snow's 2023, that's a wrap.